Let's roll. We're recording. I'll cut that part. Oh, okay. <laughs> <All right. laughs> yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Hello everyone, this is Mike Stokes with Wild Alive University and Lush Planet Design Build. Um, and today I want to show you how I designed and created a composting toilet system using pickle barrels. So uh, this is a shed that I built just out of recycled, um, reclaimed actually, uh, corrugated metal and some old two by fours. Uh, now I'm gonna come over and grab the camera and show you how it all works. So the first thing that I want you to notice is just the pickle barrel itself. Um, I have several inside the unit as well. Um, so let's just go ahead and walk on inside and take a peak. So just a little old latch I had here. And here we go. So the most important thing to notice about the, the pickle barrel composting toilet system uh, is in, in my opinion the urine diverter. So what you got here this is actually in use so got a little gross factor maybe. Uh, there you go, gross factor. So in the urine diverter is critical. So underneath here, there's a front part where the urine goes outside and then the poo goes back. So if you come over here, you'll see that there's a bucket there. That's just basically the tube goes into the bucket, five gallons, once it fills up, we go and pour it on the plants. That's my worm bin right back there. So from, and then inside, underneath, the urine diverter, you basically just lift up the top of this box that I built and there's a bucket in there. Um, we like to use the bio bags, which are biodegradable. They, they slow down the process a little bit, but it keeps it a little bit cleaner. So then if you look over here, there's one pickle barrel. And then over here, there's another pickle barrel. Um, right here we have uh, sawdust shavings, um, which we use uh, to put on top of the composting toilet system. So the, the sawdust shavings, uh, it's critical that you use just um, enough, you use plenty of it. And the, the most important thing about the urine diverter is that it reduces the smell because the urea, the uric acid in the urine is really what causes the bad smell. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up this bucket here. It's going to be too dark, so you're not really going to be able to see anything, but um, that's just um, my buddy storing a couple of uh, a couple of chairs right there. So you can't see it, but the reason I'm doing this is kind of for effect and sticking my nose in there, and it smells like dirt. So it's just, it's just a dirt smell. You're just going to have to trust me on that, but it does. <laughs> it smells like dirt. Um, and that's because there's, there's no urine in there, and there's enough moisture, but not too much moisture. So if you look right here, you see that little black thing there? That's what's called the Studer vent. So it lets uh, gases in, but doesn't let gases out. Now that's plumbed all the way down, you can't really see it, but to the bottom of this pickle barrel. So what that does is let air in through the bottom. And I put a couple of bricks and then some metal mesh to kind of keep some air down there. Now you also can't really see very well with these uh, chairs here, but there's um, a pipe from the top of the, you're not gonna be able to see it at all, but there's a pipe from the top of the pickle barrel that goes out. So we've got an airflow. You've got air coming in the bottom and going out the top. So let's go out to that and I'll show you how that works. So right here, just, you know, kind of janky, just sealed this up so no water got in there with some flashing tape, uh, is just some ABS pipe that goes up to the roof. And you're not gonna be able to see it very well, but you can kind of see that white thing up there? That's a super cheap marine solar fan. Uh, I put it up there probably two, three years ago. Um, works great. So on a sunny day, and even a rainy day, um, it'll just, whoosh, it'll start going and it'll suck air through 
that pipe. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put the camera back on the mount here. Talk in front of the camera. So what I really like about this system is that uh, if you run out, like let's say you fill up a pickle barrel, um, the way I, so I designed this other door here so that you could always have two pickle barrels running. So you fill one up, you swap it out, and you let it sit. And you let it sit for as long as you need to until that material is completely decomposed. Uh, and then you use it as nice uh, feed for your fruit trees or your non-lettuce um, non vegetable garden. So basically anything that do, you don't eat off of the ground, you can use the humanure for. Um, so, so that's it. That's the uh, composting toilet system with the pickle barrel. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions. And this, that particular barrel been, has been in there for over a year, so it's, it's about time to harvest it. Uh, and I hope that's helpful, and go humanure.